Hi, I'm Jean Esber, Prenator Genie. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I am going to take you on a journey to explain how breast milk is produced. So by the end of this video, you'll have a better understanding on how the process works. So if you enjoy breastfeeding tips, I post, I post videos here every week on breastfeeding topics and I would love to have you as a subscriber if you haven't already subscribed. So thank you if you have already subscribed and let's begin. Do you know that your body starts getting ready for breastfeeding during pregnancy? Amazing, isn't it? So your body is meant to breastfeed, is primed to breastfeed your baby after birth. So it starts getting ready during pregnancy. The first trimester, you or throughout your pregnancy, you will feel your breasts tender. You will see the veins more visible. The areola, which is the dark area around the nipple, will get darker. And that is so baby could find the breasts after birth. So all of these breast changes are meant to happen and you're not you might not experience all of them and that's okay but then it's part of the your body getting ready for milk production okay so regardless of the size of your breasts it doesn't matter your size you have your body has the ability to produce enough milk for your baby regardless of your breast size so after your second trimester in pregnancy you your body will start producing colostrum which is your first milk for baby for the first few days after birth so if you look at this picture it will help you understand a little bit better how breast milk is produced inside your breast so milk production occurs within the alveoli cells those grape like clusters of cells and then once milk is made it is then squeezed through into the milk ducts they're like highways and then the ducts will carry the milk throughout the breast at birth the delivery of the placenta will signal your body to release more milk so during pregnancy and a few days postpartum your milk supply is hormonally driven whether or not mom is breastfeeding okay but then even even be, even initially the first few days postpartum you have enough milk for your baby regardless of of the amount because you'll be producing what baby needs that's why it's so important to put baby on the sooner the better ideally within the first hour of birth or whenever mom feels well Moms will typically feel their breasts become fuller after two, three days after birth. And that is when their, their milk comes in, their mature milk starts coming in. So don't think that you don't have any milk for baby just because you don't feel your breasts fuller. You have colostrum and you have enough. You have exactly what your baby needs as long as you put in baby to the breast frequently. So now let's talk about the role of the baby. The role of the baby at the breast is super important. When baby suckles at the breast, it sends a signal to your brain and it gets those breastfeeding hormones working. Prolactin, the prolactin hormone is responsible for producing milk and then oxytocin is the hormone responsible to let the milk down. To the release of milk so when baby is on and that cycle happens often and frequent your milk production increases and it tells your body to produce more remember we want often removal of milk from your breast to tell your body to produce more so the fuller your breast the slower the production the emptier the breast the more milk your body produces. So it's super important to follow baby's feeding cues and feed baby eight to 12 times every 24 hours to ensure that you're making enough milk for baby. If you're concerned that your milk has not come in or you think you have low milk supply, I recommend you contact an IBCLC because what you do initially, the early days, sets the foundation for the rest of your breastfeeding experience. So I, in the description below, I have my booking link just in case you're interested in a virtual visit with me. And I also put together a breastfeeding guide to help you have breastfeeding success 
from the beginning. So it's a free copy that you could get and download. If you find videos like these helpful, please let me know. Give it a like, comment below, and share it with your breastfeeding friends that might benefit from this information. Also, before you go, make sure you check my other videos to help you in your breastfeeding journey. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.